Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and in this video, I shall be showing you some of the new features added to Dorico 2 that make working with instrumental parts easier and more flexible in the advanced music notation software from Steinberg. One powerful aspect of Dorico's layouts features is the ability to easily have different properties set on the same events in the full score and instrumental parts. In this example, I'm showing the same passage of violin music in the full score layout and the violin part. However, sometimes it's useful to make these changes to properties across all layouts that the player is assigned. This is now possible in Dorico by making a selection in the layout that has the properties set that you wish to use everywhere, opening the Edit menu and choosing Propagate Properties. It works in both directions. So if I undo that last change and now select the part layout, the properties are carried over to the full score. Which properties are propagated depends on the mode you are in. Using the command in write mode only sets the properties available in write mode. This means you can safely use the feature without worrying about things like offsets you made to slurs, etc. in engrave mode. If you want to use the feature to set properties such as slur relative positions and so on, do so from engrave mode. Another time saver is the ability to copy the formatting of one layout to another. In setup mode, right click the layout you wish to copy the formatting from and choose Propagate Part Formatting. Choose the layout or layouts that you wish to copy the formatting to and press OK. Things like system and frame breaks are set in the destination layouts, but you can also use it to match many layout options such as page size, space size, the default master page set and so on. If you ever find you have mistakenly deleted some of the generated instrumental layouts in your project, you can now use a new command in the setup menu to create those default part layouts for all that are missing. There's a new layout option on the players page at the bottom of the instrument changes section that allows you to show instrument change labels at the start of flows. This helps greatly with players holding more than one instrument but where staff labels are set to not show. Now there's no excuse for them playing the wrong instrument at the beginning of a flow. We've added a new engraving option to the multi-bar rests section of the rests page that sets a threshold for the number of bars rest you can have at the end of a flow before it starts showing as a tacit alfine. And the multi-bar rest h-bar can now be set to a fixed width which you can, of course, specify. I very much hope you found this video helpful. If you have, just for me, please click the thumbs up button below. That lets me know you've liked it. And subscribe to our Dorico channel right now to see many more videos like this one. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.